Hi, this is Vi from Scrappy Mania, and today I have a product review on this Morsart brush pen set. And this is my alternative to getting the Jane's Davenport Mermaid markers. Her markers are available in Michaels if you can find them, and they're about $40. You get a set of 12 for hers. And if you get a coupon, especially if you get a 60% coupon, it's a good deal. But if you don't get a coupon, you know, I think 40% or even 30% coupon is not enough for me to buy those markers. I did find these, Mozart Art Brush Pens on Amazon. And the price for these were less than um, $15 for a set of 12. What I really like about this is that I got my markers and then I got refill pack. This is awesome. This will refill so whenever you um, use up the, the your markers, you can go ahead and show and unplug. There's a little plug here. You unplug this and then you put 15 to 20 drops of this ink and then you have your markers ready to go. It's a very, I thought it was better than the Jane Davenport because of course once you use up the colors of Jane then you can still refill them, but you have, you're have you not going to refill them with the same colors. These, you get 15 milliliters of, um, of ink, and it will last you a long time. I mean, a little bit of this will last a long, long time for your markers. They have a set of 24, but I only got the 12 because they only have a set of 12 colors. So that's why I got 12 only. I didn't want to get the 24 and then I don't have inks for them. So let me go ahead and compare these. So I went ahead and did some color swatches here and look how vibrant those colors. But I'll go ahead and create these water swatches for you. Again, so the black one, now it doesn't have color, they don't have names on these. I could not find the names for these brush pens. So I don't know the name for them. And what I like about these brush prints is that they're very tight. So when you close them, they're gonna close very tight and that creates a seal that is not gonna make your markers go dry. So the brush is not a felt brush, it's actually bristles, which I also like. And look how beautiful they glide on watercolor paper. They do move a lot, which would, I also like that. And then let me go ahead and get the purple so you can see that. And red. Let's do the gray. Look how beautiful they really um, glide on this paper. Yellow. Orange, very bright, brown, and I put them in a cup, so like you see here, these are all my detail brushes, and I put my watercolor brushes in there too, you know, the ones with ink. Green, they have two colors of green, so you have this more nature green like for landscapes and then you have this more teal color aqua green it's a little different it's more bluish green here's a blue turquoise blue actually the blue is here sorry and then the turquoise blue was this one. The pink did not move a lot. That's the only thing I did not like about the pink of this one. I did not, it did not move a lot on my swatch here. So let's go ahead and get some water and let's move them. See how nice it moves. This one doesn't move too much. Notice that. But there are the swatches for my markers. So I went ahead and drew this 
these images here, some flowers, and I also put You Are Amazing. And let me go ahead and use these markers and see how it works. So I think I want to use some red, so I'm just going to outline the marker, then we're going to move it. I saw somebody using the Jane Davenport um, markers, mermaid markers, and what he did is he did the outline, then he went in with some water and moved it just like this. And I do like that it moves pretty nicely. Let me go ahead and see the pink. Okay, you can even leave it like that, but if you want to put a little bit of color or water, you can move it around. I like how that looked. Let's go ahead do some more red here. And I think I'm going to use some yellow. Put some yellows on the centers. And then maybe use some, let's see, brown. Kind of on the edges. Let's see what happens there. The red really moves pretty nicely. And one of the tricks is not to lose your whites. So make sure you don't lose all your whites when you're doing this. So let's go ahead and do another pink. And I think I'm going to use purple for these flowers. Well, actually, no. Let's not use purple. Let's use... Let's use some red. Just going to outline it. Okay, so now let's go ahead and use the green. And let's use one green. We have two greens in here, so let's try this other green. So I just put it a little bit on the edges here. Okay, so not too bad. Now let's go ahead. Put a lot of different colors in the background. Not bad. I do like them. So um, this is my page. It's not the greatest, but I basically just wanted to test out the marker. I will go over and outline it with a black Sharpie once it dries, and I'll write this up, and then I'll give you pictures at the end how it looks once I put the details in. Okay, so it's nice and dry, so I'm going to go over it with my charcoal pen. So I decided to go with a charcoal pencil instead of a marker because I didn't really want it too harsh. I wanted to have a delicate look to this page. And this is one of my techniques. I, I like drawing my images, my watercolor images, and then coloring them, and then going back over them with a li line of the lining, you know, the outline with our charcoal. And it really, I really like that look. So here's my page, and I really like these brush. There are some brush pens by Morsad Art. The best thing about them is that you have refillable ink. To put in them if they dry out and they work pretty nice for pages so i hope you like this video and thank you for watching bye now